I want to start by saying that this is not a lecture. This is called a workshop because I want you to be doing some of the work. I want to engage you. I'm going to ask you questions that you can answer to yourself. I'll give you some time to share your own publishing experience and I'm also going to answer your questions. So I want to ask you, why are you here? If you're here because you want to get ideas for how to get published, you're in the right place. People have told me that have read their my published Don't Perish book or attended this workshop that they've learned more in one hour with me than from all their doctoral program days and any other methods. You need to realize that when you send your work out to be published, they're not looking for reasons to accept your work. They're looking for reasons to reject it. Therefore, what we have to do is put our focus on making sure we don't do things that are going to get us rejected. And that's a foundational tip because everything else in my book, in my workshop, is how to avoid making those mistakes. And the very important one I'm going to spend time on is answering the so what question. I'm going to teach you to write a good introduction to your article so that when the person gets it, the reviewer, the editor, they're going to read that introduction that's going to draw them in they're going to get interested and they're going to want to read your article and more importantly they'll want to publish it. I'm also going to talk about taking one data set and splitting it up so that you get multiple publications out of one data set. How do you do that? You split your sample, change your variables around and you can also do different statistical analysis for different level journals. Notice that a lot of people really don't understand statistics and what tests to use when coming out of the doctoral programs. So I developed a decision tree that you can use to follow and you can actually figure out what is the appropriate statistical testing to use for your research design. Why am I doing this? Well, I guess I'd have to say a big factor was Hank. And you say, what do you mean Hank? Well, Hank many years ago came out of his doctoral program in an AACSB accredited school knew he got his position he knew he had to publish but he wasn't comfortable didn't know how to get started what basically called me up he asked me could I spend some time with him and help him so I said sure Hank so I spent about a half an hour with Hank going over all my early secrets giving him specific details and he thanked me heartily and he said, you know, Bob, I've learned more in this half hour with you than my five years in my doctoral program. And my supervisor all that time never gave me these great tips that you've given me today. These secrets that I've been teaching and working on over these years are just not out there. They're just not being taught. That's why I got into doing this. You also may have heard the saying, if you want to be successful, do something that you enjoy and something that you're good at. I love to teach. I love to publish. That's a big reason why I'm here doing this today. I want to help you and others to get published like I've done with people from all over the world. 75 countries, people have contacted me. Thanks for the question.